Hi, boys and girls. Okay, the first part of this reductive printing or taking it away kind of printing, we just used pictures. Today, we're going to add words. Oh, and before I start, I want to show you. So if I'm going to use a word, I have to do the reverse, okay? So if I, let's say I want to use the word dragon, okay? I would not be able to do this or it'll print backwards, okay? If I want dragon to pick, print correctly, I have to not only flip this over, but I have to make it be on this side. So I would have to write it like this, D, so backwards, D, R, A, G. Now I can't make the G this way, I gotta make it in reverse. O is easy, because it's gonna be the same no matter what. N's a little tricky. For the N this way, it goes up, diagonal, up. I gotta go, let's see, to flip that N. Ooh, I always have trouble with this one. So it goes up, diagonal, up. Hopefully that's right. So this is what dragon, what I would have to write on my picture in order to get it to turn out like that because it'll print the opposite of what I do, okay? I'm gonna set this up here to remind myself how to do it. Remember, um, when you're ready, raise your hand. Mrs. Walker will come around and put some paint on your printing plate, and then you're going to take your brush, spread that out, and remember the lines of your brush are going to show. So if you want to have fun with this, remember I did kind of loop-de-loop -loop lines. You could do circles. You could do, if you want it to be really smooth, then you're going to have to just take your time to do this to kind of press it flatly. Uh, you'll have to get all this paint spread out first, though. If you're trying to do it smooth, I think I'm going to go smooth this time just so you can see what I'm doing with the words. But all of these lines that are showing up in here, do you see all these little loops? I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to tip this a little bit. Do you see the loops there? This is all going to show up if I don't smooth it out. So I'm going to smooth it a little bit. Okay, now remember it's reductive printing. It means we're going to reduce or take away. I'm going to use my Q-tip to take away some of this paint, okay? And to start with, I'm going to use some inspiration um, from one of the projects we've been doing. We've been doing dragons. I'm going to use this dragon as my inspiration. I'm going to try to draw a little quick dragon in here, um, just for at least the symbol of a dragon. Now, this isn't coming off very good, but that means it's starting to dry already, so I'm going to have to hurry up. If yours starts to dry, it probably will not make the best print. Okay, maybe I just wasn't pushing hard enough. I'm noticing that I just wasn't pushing hard enough because look, now it's really coming off good. So I'm just going to push a little bit harder here. Oh yeah, just got to push harder. There we go, and I want some flames. And then let's see his tail. It's going to be this really cool tail. Kind of a, I don't know. There, some spikes zigzag line and then I'm going to write the word dragon and remember we talked about this I have to write it backwards so I don't want to write it like I normally would I want to write it like this so I'm going to go D R that's hard to scrape off I think it's getting too dry I gotta hurry oops I don't want to use that back side because that'll get my hand dirty R A G O doesn't matter, and then N, okay? And let's see, I need a few more lines in his wings here. Maybe just a few lines there. Maybe a few scales, 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 scales. A few more of those. Let's see his head. I want it to look a little more spiky. He will eye. Um, maybe one more line for his belly here. Okay, I feel like I'm done. I might even do some wavy lines around the outside just to give it kind of a border. You can do anything you want here, but I'm just kind of playing around with it. All right, I think I'm ready to take my print now. And you remember, you want to have your name and class code on that piece of paper that you're printing with. So um, first, double check. Okay, and I'm looking at mine. It doesn't have my name and class code, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to print because I don't want it to dry. Give it a little rub. And then before I take it off of here, I'm going to write my name and, and my class code. Now, this could mess up my print a little bit, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. But in a pinch, it would be better to do that than to not know who this is. Okay, and remember, once you've given it a good back rub, 
check, peel it up a little bit to see. Yep, okay, mine's ready. Oh, cool. Okay, so you can see my brush lines. You can see my dragon. Um, I don't think I prepped. I think this dried too much. Remember, this was getting dry right here. So I wish I had done it a little bit faster because now my, my black isn't as black as it could be because it got kind of dry. Okay, but that's for ex that's something to experiment with. Now, let's say I really like this design and I want to do the exact same thing again. All I would do is wait for more paint. I don't even have to wipe this off, actually. I don't think I'm going to. Um, I just need to wait for Mrs. Walker to add more paint, spread that paint out, and then redraw my line designs. Okay, or my, if you're doing a specific thing like the dragon, then you just redraw your dragon. But do I need to work a whole lot more quickly this time? Yes, I do. That was my problem last time, right? I took a little bit too much time. So have a plan in your head of what you're going to draw um, because you do not want to waste this time uh, doing, the, doing the draw. You want to be able to draw it pretty quickly. So it needs to be something that I can draw pretty quick. Um, and obviously I didn't do very quick on that dragon. So maybe I need to either practice doing it faster or not do a dragon. I just really want a dragon. So I'm going to try again. I'm going to try, and oh, this, it's really hard to press hard enough. Something to work on though, right? I'm having a hard time scratching off enough. I'm really having to press hard on this uh, little Q-tippy thing. Maybe I'll just leave the words off this time and see how it turns out. I really like the words, but it definitely took me too long. And I'm just having a hard time getting that scratched off for his face. I don't know. Okay. And then maybe some zigzaggy lines, just something fast around the outside. Okay, now I'm going to take a print. Let's we'll see how this turns out. Maybe this will be better. Again, I don't have my name on here, which is not good, but I'm going to put it on there as soon as I print. Ooh, shoot. Okay, so now I'm off center, but I'm not going to move it. I'm just going to go ahead and lay it down. I wish I had taken my time a little bit more there. I'm going to write my name in class code here. And then make sure I rubbed it. I'm being careful here because I don't want to stick my hand in that paint. But you should have it, if you take your time when you put that down, you shouldn't have that sticking out. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this is a better print. Oh, wow. Yeah, much better. But look, you can still see my brush strokes, right? See where my brush went across? Cool. All right, so I've got a couple of prints, a couple of tries. Um, be sure you're taking turns, letting the other person take a turn before you take your second turn. Okay, and any kind of line design would be fun. I found this sheet here. This was like, I was going to use this for ideas and then I didn't because I was trying to hurry so much. So have a plan in mind what you're going to do. Like repeated wavy lines is good. Circles is good. Stripes is good. Spirals. Whatever you want to do, um, try it. See how it turns out.